Now he got to sleep. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You have witnessed the world we have promised. A temporary misunderstanding for an eternity of prosperity. We will Understand. <sighs> Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Well, we're about to waken now. Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. And we get to see her in the story, too. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? What am I going to do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? <laughs> come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up... Oh yeah, they're talking about her. What would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. Yep. I'm gonna collect this book real fast. Mm-hmm. I'm looking around. Mm. What place are we in now? Are we some kind of like an underground thing? I don't know where my people at. Alright. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Uh, I feel better. Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Uh, nice to meet you. And this is your clinic? Is this the underground? Yes. Um, the place that's been sealed off and neglected by the overgrounders for more than a decade. The underground has none of the splendor of the surface. The people here dig tunnels and mine ore to make a living. 
Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Okay, why did I pass cells? Uh, people were following us. Hmm. I want to know where my friend's at. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. Alright. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Uh, who is Sampo anyway? Good question. <laughs> Yeah. He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Yeah, he did sound like a shady guy at first. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Alright. Alright, thank you. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan home. Where should I start? Yeah, let's look around in this underground. Woohoo! Ah, this is the place. Oh, there. There's March. I think she's talking to Hook, right? So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs? Yep, all the ins and outs! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. is in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. <laughs> yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? Yes, now. Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. <laughs> it's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Me and teammates. I get it. Well, best of luck. I get it, you're being a bully by children. <laughs> you're getting bullied by children. I'm saying this. Uh, so what if I am? Why don't you help me, huh? <laughs> hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Yeah. Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Why? We're not that smart. Hmm. You're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Yeah, I know. 
I know how high it goes. What's here? No, not that. No! That's the wrong one. Hey kids, where are you? Well, there you are. Ha! Gotcha! So what? It's just a practice. Wait until we're playing for real. You'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Now we're playing for real. You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheating. All right. 47, 48, 49. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. All right, I'm gonna switch to March. For <laughs> Got it yet? We're the underground great hiders and. I'm gonna. I found one of you. <laughs> uh -huh. I caught you. Hmm. Doesn't count unless you can answer this question. We gotta ask some questions now. What? But we caught you. What's with the Q and A? <laughs> uh, I thought I had you there. <laughs> I. She was gonna trick us. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Which one of you kids at? I found a hook. Hmm. I want to find the other kid yet first. I'll save you for last. Where that boy at? Where that boy at? Where that boy? Something's not right. What? That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. What? Oh, come on. Mm. <laughs> Seems suspicious. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy, but... It's not him, no doubt. He looks taller and older. Looks like adult to me. <laughs> I'll say this. <laughs> <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? Did he turn to a doll or something like that? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. Okay, we found one of them. All right. Hook! We found you. Don't run. I got you, Hook. It's not fair. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? <laughs> Do your worst. I'm not afraid. Just... What are they feeding you kids down here? I... Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Uh, with my help. Uh, sure you did. Does that sound like something you will say? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say this. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. Oh. The fight club? I thought that was the first rules was... Doesn't sound good. I'm gonna say this. And no kidding. They didn't exactly get off on the right foot. Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. 
Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? Hmm... But... It's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. <laughs> Dang. But we're, we're new to this, so we don't know where it is. Come with Hawk. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? <laughs> A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh huh. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? <laughs> yeah. We're here! This is it! A cook's gonna go fight! See you later! Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? <laughs> the moms are in charge, that's who! Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. Um, the moles control everything underground. Uh, they might skip that part. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Alright. My friend! Alright, let's see this business. This fight club. I think this is where Luca comes Brothers in, right? And sisters! Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! Cold Dragon Young? And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Fara. Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say: Whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just look at his face and its expression. <laughs> and so. Let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! No! Well, what do I know? Brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! Yep. <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked! You're welcome! <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only! Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home! <laughs> yep! And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead! He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic! Yep. I can take them on my own, you know. Nah, they don't believe She don't believe it. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. <laughs> All right. All in the line, destroy them all. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. <laughs> really? Why? What's with these people doing this kind of stuff? You guys been doing a lot of spicy stuff. All right, let's just destroy them all. All right. Uh, she, that boy just the explode. truth of life and death revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. I want to see if I, I want to do the reality thing. Okay. Me. Okay, that was easy. There I'm on. I can't do that thing. 
What a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! She does not look happy at all. Why does she not look happy, March? March, why you don't look happy? Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? Oh no, that's why she's mad. <sighs> Forget oh, come it. On. I think our taste in nicknames is different. I skipped that part. I don't know what, what she said. Hey, look! It's Sampo! I'll shoot. <laughs> Uh, we got an estimation to to demand. Uh, we got another butt kit. <laughs> okay, we got another butt kit to do. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, we demand. We got a an estimation to demand. We got to another butt to kick. <laughs> Sh we should thank him. I'm gonna say this. Let's get after him. Alright. Ah, another item. I wanna look around before we kick his ass. Okay, nothing in here. Okay, let's just kick his ass. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. All right, where you at, boy? No, you're around here somewhere. Where are you at? Be over here. Are you over here? Okay. Hey, hey, it's you. I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Say that you saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. <laughs> yep. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends, what do I have to fear? Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Uh, you throw us to the silver man guards. You set mm -mm up. Yeah, we're just messing with you. Um, I'm gonna say this. You, you did this to us first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourselves? Hmm? He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. Do you know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? Ooh, smart as always. <laughs> it's Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <laughs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Why should we? Uh, why should we get to know the wildfire? Because you're looking for something. Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a what's the word? Stellaron. 
Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Now, why would uh, uh, Wildfire want to help us? Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade. But do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? What kind of organization? Uh, what kind of organization uh, is Wildfire? Well, if you want my opinion, Fire. They're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silverman guards withdrew. Wildfire set up shop. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Well. Wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. Lead the way and don't try any. Uh, lead the way and don't try and pull anything this time. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets mm. friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> so, what does Wildfire do all day? By everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Oh. Mm. Mm. Dang, look at this map. Huh, where's Joshua? Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. Hey, right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Let's say 21, 7, nope. <sighs> 28, 29. Did someone just talk? Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare! Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, dang. Oh, come on. My dear fellow, I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. They don't trust you yet. They don't trust you yet. Alright, we're 
Get all the way. He's usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's Wildfire up to? Hmm. Are they avoiding me? Oh, it's her. Oh. Hey, look! Who is that? <laughs> yeah, it's her. Oh, uh, Branya. It looks like she's in trouble. Yeah. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. If it was right, we can't just stand here. I'm saying this. Yeah! Now you're getting it! Let's help her. <laughs> Alright, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. Oh, shoot. Oh, her! Catch someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds of feet? Darn it! Quick! Disperse! My lady just left. Thugs. Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the Underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the Underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the Underworlders? The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You? Protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. Ooh. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Zila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? Um, I'm gonna say my name. What good is your name by itself? <laughs> well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Zila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the Chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. She just left. Just like that. <laughs> Complete a mission, clearing. Hmm. Ah, uh, yep. All right. Daily train. Hmm. Hmm? The upgrade is done. Come test. Yum. Yeah, hold on. In a little bit. Oh. This is like quest stuff, right? Mm. Oh, 
All right. All right. Noise. All right. Open. Hmm. Uh, okay. Complete assignments to. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Which characters I'm gonna use? Hmm. Alright. We'll use them. Kinda of the same thing as Genshin Impact. Okay. What is this? Alright. I'll we'll just do one. Hmm, I don't know what's this. Oh, dang. We are getting a lot of stuff from here. What is this? Oh, okay. I'll do all this later. Mm. Well, let me see. Alright, I want to do something. I wanna... It's not story, but let me switch characters. I just got. Alright. Mm. Got this guy. And her. I heard a lot of good things about her. And him too. First five star. Youthful energy is a good thing, but I'd appreciate a heads up before you make any moves, March. <laughs> All right, let's hear you guys. How are you finding your first trailblazing expedition? Kind of wild. Pretty great. I enjoyed a good adventure. <laughs> awesome in this. Uh, that's good. I'm about to summarize the intel we've gathered so far. Did you want to listen? Yeah. Why not? First, we have the underworld. A huge underground space. Miners have built towns here and are excavating Geomero. Uh, what's the relationship between here and the overworld? Do soldiers from the overworld ever come here? I'm clear on a bit, but what else? Hmm. hmm. We learned from Natasha that the Underworld shoulders the energy needs for their entire civilization. Laboring in the Underworld used to be a great honor, and there was regular movement between realms. Mm -hmm. Sampo mentioned the Furnace Core, which people would use to travel in both directions. Yet now, each realm is sealed off from the other. Only the automatic transport line for Geomero and goods is still in operation. The reason for sealing the furnace core still needs to be investigated. In addition, it appears that Sampo has secret connections that grant him passage between here and the surface. That may come in useful to us. Alright, do soldiers from the overworld ever come down here? Up to now, apart from Branya, whom Sampo brought here, I still haven't seen a single Silvermane guard. Yeah. At the Fight Club, I heard people say that the guards withdrew from the underground many years ago, and that it was the Supreme Guardian who gave the order. At the uh, time, yeah. the Supreme Guardian was none other than Kokolia Rand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm clear on this, but what else? Next, we have our goal. The Stellaron. After we revealed our intentions, the Supreme Guardian suspended communications and sent soldiers to arrest us. Her reaction was strange, to say the least. Hmm. Okay, why well, did the uh, Supreme Guard chose to act that way? It's too early to say, but it was a radical move. It means that we must have broached a highly sensitive subject. A secret that she's sparing no effort to protect. Mm. If I remember our discussion correctly, I think there are two main possibilities. The Architects and the Stellaron. I'm inclined to think it's the latter, but we lack evidence. Yeah. 
We will find any uh, Star Wars clues in the underground. Uh, Set our there's arms. an old saying that goes, Good fortune lies within bad. Bad fortune lurks within good. Even when compared with the overworld, the underworld has a long history. There should be valuable intel here. Not to mention, without the Supreme Guardian's interference, we have a better chance than ever of locating the Stellaron. I'm clear on this. I'm clear on this affair, so what else? Lastly, we have the main strength of the underworld. Wildfire. Mm -hmm. After the Silvermane guards withdrew, and in order to keep the peace, the residents of the underworld spontaneously organized their own militia, thereby taking... Oh, damn. Okay, do we need to allies with the uh, wildfire? Hmm. Ally? It's a little premature to be talking about that. But Wildfire will be familiar with all manner of forces below ground. If we want to find Stellaron clues in the underground, I'm certain they can help. Uh, do you trust the Wildfires? I don't know them. Trust isn't part of the picture yet. But speaking of trust, I suggest you don't place too much of yours in Sampo Kosky. Mm. He hasn't revealed his true intentions, but he has managed to corral us into a difficult situation. Almost without us realizing. Mm. That's a dangerous person indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm all up to speed now. Mm. That's all we need to summarize for now. If there's anything else you're not clear on, come and find me. Alright. Mm. March! What do you think? We'll shoot. Thoughts on the underground? Sure. Where should I start? I want her to hear about your absurdus nation. Absurd of the ah, can't read. No. <laughs> My observational skills are second to none. Yeah. Dang, I need to know. I need to read better. Okay, goddamn. There's a lot of things we gotta talk about. Okay, how about the underground? Well, the underworld is surrounded by cliffs, and there's no obvious structure. It seems like a spread out collection of mines and small towns, just like the outskirts of Bellabog. There's that huge pillar called the Furnace Core that's always in view. Maybe it's some kind of energy hub? Now, how about the underworld life? From what I've seen, the residents are nearly all miners. It seems like the people here have less than those in the overworld. Still, the miners watch fights in their spare time. It's less pretentious than that theater they have on the surface. How about the underworlds? What does that even mean? They're always in a hurry. The pace of life here is so fast. Things are pretty busy in the overworld, too, but everything feels more relaxed up there. Mm-hmm. That's all I can think of. Uh, I want her... Well, I mean, not her. I want to hear what you think about the others. I'm not so good at analyzing people. But, seeing as you asked... Okay, uh, Snappy. Wow, that's his name. That guy? Ugh, he's lazy, lying, cunning, and evil. I don't like him. Can't stand <laughs> the sight of him. <laughs> I can't blame you. I bet you think he's pretty entertaining. Watch out or he'll fool you. Okay, hook. Ah, you mean that naughty kid we played hide and seek with? Dr. Natasha said that she's a handful, but that she also takes care of the homeless kids. Maybe she's more mature than she seems? Hmm. Still, I can't believe how arrogant she is. I was pretty mad with her for a while. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, um... Okay, hold on. Rania, if I'm saying that right. The Silvermane girl? She's pretty! I like looking at her. 
When I first met her, I thought she was kind of scary. But now it seems like there's something on her mind. I'm too nervous to ask her. At least she's not trying to arrest us anymore. Okay, I'm a... I'm a... can't say her name. Silly? Silla? No. She says what she thinks. I like her. And did you hear what she said about the Silvermane guards? <laughs> Sounded like she'd been waiting a long time to say it. I think I'd get along with her. Yeah, you guys probably will. If we can get her to help us, we'll bag a Stellaron in no time. Man, that's all I can think of. Alright, that, that's it for now. If you hear any juicy gossip, um, uh, information, <laughs> come find me. Alright. Alright. Let's talk to you. Lord, your big brother Sampo is always up for a chat. Uh, okay, who the heck are you? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm your old pal Sampo Koski. We've been through thick and thin together. <laughs> uh, uh, some people don't believe that. You didn't even ask him my question. <laughs> yeah. Well, that just means there's something wrong with your question. <laughs> Questions are like transactions. If your request isn't clear, you might end up buying the wrong thing. Alright, who are the wildfires in her? Wildfire are one of my major clients. Though the work is mostly odds and ends, still, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> who am I to complain if the money's right, huh? Mm -hmm. Zila works for them. Oleg's okay. most trusted lieutenant. Out of her, I'm probably just a wildfire's lapdog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but... A very contented lapdog, I should add. <laughs> uh, I know she is. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> she probably might kick his ass without saying that. I, I know how uh, powerful she is. And I saw like clips of people doing like the animations of her. Very interesting. Uh, what do you uh, wi files want? Wildfire Swan. As a non-member, not a clue. They'd never tell me their ultimate aims. Shame, really. It's not like I'm a blabbermouth. Uh, you probably are. A pleasure. Until next time. <laughs> All right. I will arrest you under the Supreme Guardian's decree. Nothing has changed. You're still going to arrest me after this. I am not your friend. Uh, it takes uh, it takes time to make friends. <laughs> I, I like to get closer to my enemies. Ooh, that is interesting to say. Please arrest me. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm saying this. I saw you the day before the Goethe Hotel. Japard took you to see the Supreme Guardian. He told me you were visitors from beyond the sky. Just like the interstellar travelers of ancient legend. People of all kinds that carried the will of the eons. Japard said that you wanted to help us reverse the damage that the eternal freeze and fragmentum continue to wreak on our planet. But that night, Mother summoned me and ordered me to take a detachment to arrest you. What happened? The Supreme Guardian didn't tell me the details and Japard had to rush back to the front line. I don't understand. Ah, uh, oh shoot. Hmm. I will skip that. Okay, you're not the only one. Really do want to help you guys. Yeah. Oh. The Silvermane guards withdrew to the surface long ago. I must avoid that identity here. Until we're back in the overworld, I propose a temporary truce and cooperation. Your true intentions are of interest to me. Mm. If it helps you to trust me, I'm willing to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Ah, uh, dang, what should I do? There's a lot of things to talk about. What crimes have we, like, commit? Hmm, I'll say that. Let me repeat. All I received were the Supreme Guardian's instructions. It is for the adjudication panel to pass judgment on the accused. All the Supreme Guardian told me was that your identities were counterfeit and that your intention was to overthrow the rule of the architects. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's still like a big lie. Do you know where a Stellaron is? If you know what that is. 
I've never heard of this Stellaron. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if all this catastrophe could be brought to an end simply by sealing it, then I hope its existence proves to be real. Okay, why did the Superman gods withdraw from the underground? Yeah. Fragmentum monster activity on the surface intensified, and hostilities on the front line were critical. To resist the invasion, the architects had no choice but to redeploy the guards to the front line. If we couldn't hold our defensive line, then we wouldn't be able to maintain our supply of aid to the underground, which would have collapsed without us. That was the Supreme Guardian's explanation. Oh, <laughs> okay. So that could be of like a big lie right there. Sounds like a big lie. Why were you willing to uh, crop with us? Yeah. In truth, I've always felt like something important is being hidden. Whether it's the architects, mother, or Silvermane guards, there's always an unnatural element to their actions. Since encountering you, the unexpected seems to have arrived in waves. I never thought I'd enter the underworld that has been sealed away for so long. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that with you, I can pick up the lost threads and dispel my uncertainties. Mm, I get it. All right, that's all I have to ask. Um, we should be going to see Wildfire. Let's move. All right. Um, let me see. What's the stuff like missions? Okay. What? Ain't late 13? What am I? Well, motherfuckers. Great, I'm gonna have to do some bullshit quests again. I gotta level up. Yeah, I gotta have to level up somehow. <laughs> All right, let's continue the mission. All right, it's getting late. Took a while. Where to now? We're doing all those other missions. Hold on, I'm gonna switch something. Hmm. All right. Hey, you came. That was fast. That wasn't fast at all. That took a while. Okay, what is the uh, wildfire doing? The wildfire uh, doing in the mines? Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Really? Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought Wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. I understand, let's go. Oh. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Really? I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. Ah, oh, dang.
Our light. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? Yep. What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Ha. All right. Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. These people, uh, what are you guys doing? I heard that the miners had been having violent clashes with local thugs with significant numbers of wounded. I hurried over here to see if I could help. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. Mm, How did the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. Aw, oh, dang. That's a price for a gardening a, a secret? Hmm. Yeah. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. Mm -hmm. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. Mm -hmm. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Uh, I saw this heart before, but uh, I'm not going to do this though. Oh, that's quite nice of you. I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Dang, another one. Ooh. Okay, this is where the gear stuff comes in. Hmm. Equip. Mm hmm. Oops. What about like other characters? Don't they get to have something? Hmm. I'll let you have this. Oh dang. Alright. Alright, let's get to business. Okay. Mm. The giant ore vein. The one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. Alright, what is it? Oh yeah. Uh, today me is even more awesome than yesterday me. Alright, now I'm done. Okay, let's... That person up ahead. 
Is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. I wonder if he's drunk or something. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. <laughs> Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. <laughs> uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. Mm. I must be tired. Right. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. We're already up. Elaine, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Robots? Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! <laughs> Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. Maybe someone playing a trick? <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? Svarog? That? that name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh. oh, Boss Varog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Be well. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines. Oh, come on! Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? <sighs> Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? Oh yeah! The anime guy... Who else? I mean, I forgot his name. But I know these guys. They, they're anime YouTubers. The Trash Podcast. I uh, heard this a while ago too, so... Hmm. But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiots, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect <laughs> opportunity. Oh, uh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Oh, dang, we're fighting. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Oh, well. 
do this fast. Are made to be broken. Mm. I won't go easy on you. I think damage like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? What the heck is that? What the heck? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Searching for potential user. Oh, it's talking. Beep, beep, beep. Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien. Hey, it talks. And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, mm -hmm. beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Oh, dang, with the mom joke. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the International Peace Corporation? That's great. Beep, beep, beep. Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0.63. Professional model, annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. Findy. I'm gonna call you that. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. I ain't gonna live that long. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Ah, let's take it. Maybe it could be some use. Beep, All right. beep, beep. Yes, yes, yes. When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me. All right. Oh, we'll deal with that later. I'm not doing that. Okay. Was I seeing things? <laughs> Ask him to stay. Huh? Oh. Mm. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Told you I could fight. Like this quick. Let's begin. Stand down. My turn. Uh. All right, that's over. I'm gonna do this for a lot. Do the, the fast thing. Fast beyond compare. Till we're finding like something that's serious. Oh, this thing. All right. this I've no interest in conflict gotta try hard sometimes watch this awesome move we make this fast <laughs> 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 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Uh, this is our chance. Yeah. Leave it to me. Hack. Uh, All right, there. All right. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? We ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geo Marrow and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparog's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. Yeah, we gotta save them. You shameless scoundrels! I saved them. To. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Interesting and who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Nothing of the weight behind this power. All right. Witness the stars shatter before mm -hmm. you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. The time is now. This is our chance. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. You're out! <laughs> All right. Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... Huh. About to get hurt, yep. Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Mm -hmm. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Mm. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can 
command robots? I I've never heard of anything like. Hmm. Interesting. Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> Sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Um, I want to meet the sub A and his minions. Yeah, whatever. Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Um, oh, hmm. is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? <laughs> sure thing, but uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Alright. Hmm, a little bit. I want to continue the mission. And the story quest. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? <laughs> Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep. Find something. Bindy can help. Oh, uh, Bindy. How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Bindy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item, minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Wow. Mm -hmm. Beep, beep, beep. Inter-Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. All right, there it is. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Bindy? Yep. How convenient. So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Bindy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep. Initiating search for lost item, minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. All right, I guess we gotta do this again. 
Around here. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. Interastral peace appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep Beep Beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Can you shut the fuck up? Beep Beep Beep. Oh my god. Peace Appliances. Beep Beep Beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep Beep Beep. Interastral Peace Appliances. Your Man, shut the fuck companion. up. Can I skip this shit? Can she shut up? My search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call inter Beep Beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. Oh, it's like it's over here. What the fuck? Beep, beep, beep. Do I need to climb? Peace appliances, your most trustworthy companion. No, oh, it's like it's over here. What the fuck? Beep, 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 beep. Potential target object detected. The current search. Okay, has thank been God. Entering. That's it. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep. beep. Annoying. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. Ah! Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. No, God, please, no, no! Yeah, whatever. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. All right, confirm. All right. All right, mission accomplished. Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. Yeah, we're known for this type of stuff. The cart is about to depart. All right, can we go in? All right, get the gods will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go carefully. Ain't that a lot of stuff? All right. I got this character. Oh, stop, uh, stop, stop, stop. There's a big evil hunk of metal right there. That model. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. All right. Let's 
strong adversary. Help me improve. All right. Strike with heart. You're in bad shape. Oh, dang. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Time for a savor the vigor of life. Right. Just a scratch. Play. Blade in flight. Step aside. I have no interest. Right there. Victory. All by right. Blade. All right. Let's continue. everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparg. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire. They don't understand your actions. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila. Subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, Humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Sparog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. Hmm. Ah, I don't even know what to say. This guy looks stronger than the other. I'm saying this. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Uh, we're gonna fight. Oh, I got people on the side. 
A strong adversary. Help me improve. I should have switched characters. Well, never mind. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's make it quick. All day. Time for some sword play. All right. I'm going to do this. Step aside. I have no interest. Let's go. Take this. You have the worst luck running into me. All right. Um. With me out here, how can we lose? You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. All right. Blade in flight. Clemency, never heard of it. Practice is over. Swords descend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The truth of life and death. Revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. Ball oh, bam. Phew, not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. And um, that girl in the red, who she? Name is Clara, right? Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Swarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. Maybe you should try to understand it. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mind sh I'll shoot. And uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. All right, um, we, hey, yeah, we're here for you. We, are we the chief? You're the hand man to Bill. Nice to meet you. I want to say, are you the chief? <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? Mm -hmm, the Stella, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Oh. How do you mean, um, ah. I don't even know who. Really, Sampo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. 
<laughs> the current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Okay. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. All right, then. We go after him. Is he really that old? Uh, he looks pretty new. You mean the war with the... Uh, at matter the will... Legion? I want to say this. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. <laughs> Aw, dang. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots <laughs> don't forget. If Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. <laughs> As for our silver mane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Ah, CD. Uh, Fade Sun. Ooh, interesting. Alright, um... All the way over there, huh? Alright, I'm gonna look around real fast, so... Um, let me hear you guys. You guys have some moves. If you need my help with anything, just shout. So, you finally believe us? <laughs> It'll take more than that. But you're not as bad as I took you for. You walk the talk. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you. That Branya girl, is she really a silver main guard? Yep. Yes, yeah, she's their leader. Oh. She heads up the force? <laughs> not bad. It's just I thought that silver main guards were all cold and unfeeling. They left the underworld to perish. But she doesn't give me that impression. Anyway, I've got stuff to report to the chief. See you around. All right. Hey, young lady, this isn't the best place for a chat. Let's keep things brief. Ah, dang. Shit, there's a lot that we can talk about. Svarog? Well, he's an artificially intelligent being from the old world. He was here when the underground was first constructed. That's about all I knew. Now he guards the Furnace Core hub. Many vagrants have established bases in the vicinity, seeking Svarok's protection. Okay, what happened to the you mine? You just from Natasha, right? 
The miners and vagrants came to blows over the vein. Then Svarog's subordinates pushed everyone back. Just pushed them back? Well, perhaps their methods were lacking in finesse. But that's essentially what they did. If you want my take, he prevented another underworld conflict. Even if the execution was rough around the edges. His behavior says something about his thinking. As long as everyone's been driven out, the conflict is over. Mm. What do you want to say about... Uh, I can't say the name. Suck at this. Well, I heard that she's a silver main guard that was sent to arrest you. I expected you to be less friendly around each other. Are you worried about her? Um... Oh, working together. Understood. Rest easy. I won't make things difficult for her. We haven't seen a silver main guard down here for a long time now. I just want to ask her a few questions. Nothing more. Uh, it's yeah. getting late. <clears throat> you should go back to the town and get some rest. Alright. Wildfire? The vagrants? Svarok? The changes in here are greater than I ever imagined. What exactly did the underworld go through after the Silvermane guards left? Sorry. Did you have something you wanted to say to me? Um... I'm gonna say this. I think I know what it will concern. Even if Oleg wasn't looking for me, I would have looked for him. I'm certain that the residents of the underground will have a lot they need to vent about. And, as a Silvermane guard, I have a lot that I need to ascertain. Nothing more. Okay. According to Oleg, he's a robot that took part in the War of Defense over 700 years ago. He possesses a near-human intelligence and rules over all the machinery in the underground. During the war, the architects created astonishing mechanical soldiers. But the fight was so terrible that most were damaged or destroyed. The technology was lost. If what Oleg says is true, then Svarog is an architect creation left over from the old era. All right. We do? I hadn't realized. I've received rigorous military training. Coordinating with soldiers under any circumstances is easy for me. Yeah, you can say what you mean. I admit Zila is talented. We do work well together. But that's all there is to it. Alright, that's all. Thanks for your concern. Well, you should head back to the town. I'll do the same when Oleg and I are finished. Alright. All right, I'm gonna look around real fast. Alright, let's continue the story. Alright, let's go over here. Right, right here. Maybe I could get some stuff. Next destination. Wow. Up to you. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Grand Hotel? Uh, hey! That's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Whoa. Have you seen that stylish Goethe hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, really? Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Yep. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Um... Hmm. Let's go explore first. I wanna look something... I wanna look at this. I wanna see you... How much do we got? What is all this? Um... New recipes, okay.
What does this do? That was in... I need like some kind of oh dang. No, I might as well. Oh, really? Come on. What's the key do? We'll get two for now. I need some boosts. We need like one each. Or something. All right. Um, there's something around here, like. Let's see. Now, nah, let's go back. Just want to buy something. Yeah. Wait, um. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm gonna rest. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say this. Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? <laughs> I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, <sighs> fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. Yeah. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? <laughs> I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> like Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Anyone else sleepy? Ah, uh, Marsh looks the most away. No, I want to do it. Leave it to me. You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. Oh, okay. I'll keep watch. Oh. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia, oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. Alright, time for bed. What's this? Mm -hmm. Ain't a lot of shit. I'm not reading that. What? I haven't done it, laid the bed yet. Um. I'm not getting over this. Bed. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? 
again such a strange dream mm -hmm. may as well go for a walk if I can't sleep I've who goes there show yourself ah uh, just me oh it's you <coughs> don't sneak up behind me next time lucky for you I wasn't armed <laughs> no sleep for you either huh yeah, I've been having these recent nightmares. I've been worried about the future. Can't sleep. I've been working for eight hours. Unless I worked for eight hours. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? Alright, what is it, Rania? This Stellaron you speak of. If you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Um... I'm not sure. I don't even know. I'm gonna say this. Um... Is he your leader? I feel he possesses a great stillness of mind in everything he does. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. You had no choice. Only a fool follows all orders blindly. Um, I'm gonna say this. you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Ah, maybe you should become the Supreme Guardian. Or I will help you. I'm gonna say this. I mean, this makes sense to me. You mean... What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. Uh, the more I think about it, the more <coughs> disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Okay, the world is more complicated than you think. Let's work together. Maybe we can change it. 
You can't save it alone. I want to say this. Work together. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Alright. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Alright. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. Yep. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder they... I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Mm. Still... Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. Seems like it. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. And the rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Yeah. yeah is there any trouble? you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. <laughs> oh, dang. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Always willing to help. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're not helping anyone with a temper like that. No, probably will help. We'll help with anything. I'm not saying this. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. <laughs> but she is, though. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. I see. Are there any towns in the underground? People? The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there, but after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. Um, okay. Well, see, I'm gonna say this. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. I'll take care of myself. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. Yep. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. 
With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. All right. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. <laughs> Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to venture into the Fragmentum on her own. I know it's not her first rodeo, but the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters... I can't help but worry. Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and eager to be the best. For people who don't know her, they might find her... difficult. But you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean. All right. All right. Oh, oh okay. Right here. We're going to go there. Leave me alone. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Ha! Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. Dang, this place is interesting. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. Oh. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. That's quite impressive. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Alright. Careful. Enemies ahead. Alright, now. Um... These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight.
I'm gonna do this fast. Let's make it up. All right. That was a heck of a performance. Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <sighs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. Shift the balance! Nothing of the weight behind this. Survive or be destroyed. There is Knock no way you to out. Rules are made to be broken. Blade and flight. Yeah. Victory by the blade. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> the facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. Yeah, unless they're strong fighters. It's a possibility. Okay, I've been here. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Oh, dang. Let's didn't start talking. Time for sword play. This is our chance. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> Take this. Don't throw the game. Leave it to me. Stand down. How many can you block? Rules are made to be broken. Knock you guys out. That was a heck of a performance. Well, uh, mm. oh, this bullshit. This one makes sense. Fuck. 
Oh, we can't beat that motherfucker. No, I'll just go to the mission. <sighs> Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Alright. What are we here? Damn it. Alright there. Some stand down. Well, that's what's some characters. The truth of life and death revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> I want to see the map of this place. Okay. Alright, let's go back to where we were. Oh, shoot, nope. I had to grow, I had to get these characters stronger a little bit, so. Here. Oh shoot, no, fuck. No! Rules are made to be broken. Wasn't ready. Blade and fight! Practice is over. Swords descend! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Okay, that's locked. Okay, let's just go over here. Up there, around here. Oh, there's a kid. Eric. by yourself. Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. <laughs> you took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Oh shit, I skipped it. Don't let him fool you. 
Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. What? Uh, two hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Um... I don't even have... I, I'm sure I have some money, but I'm not even sure. Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I, I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. <laughs> it's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Okay. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Alright. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <sighs> I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Alright. This is the street, alright. The orphanage should be at the end. Well, I'll leave it These here. These shops and signs. When do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs... They seem to have become more narrow. Alright, I'm gonna switch some characters again.
Did you check out my latest live stream? It was a showstopper! Said. All right. Looks good. All right. Almost so far, there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. We made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. Alright. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I'll shoot. Enemy! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Help me improve! Oh, goddamn, okay, um. We're gonna hit it. Let's go! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Songs for you. Come feast your eyes. Happy New Year. Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. How many can you block? Yeah. Oh dang. Got frozen. Turn out your pocket. Keep up. Time for sword play. Strike with heart. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. With it. Yeah. Let's go. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, finish you off. Ah. <laughs> that was it. Well, it was three against one. <laughs> Nah, I could have taken it on by myself. But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. You've seen it? <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. 
That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on. I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Alright. What's up? What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over 10 years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Oh. Hmm. How boorish. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, the swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Ah, <sighs> it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Yeah. Who knew swinging could be so intense? Yep. At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? Yeah, good point. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! And it's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? That's interesting. This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? You came to this town as a child. Uh, just coincidence. A lot of kids probably have this toy. Or could it be when you were a child? I want to say this. No. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. Oh. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <laughs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. You are too little to remember clearly. Um, yeah, she might have something. But the whole... Must have done something to make you forget. I'm gonna say this. Maybe this is just. No, mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. Oh, okay then. The architect said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end. Only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I, and that was you. I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Just not know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, 
I became the daughter of Madame Cacolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Mm. Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... What? She just got straight to the point. What? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! Yeah. You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. <sighs> I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay, I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. Yeah, start to get along. Like two best friends. <laughs> I should let those two be alone for a bit. Yep. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find... Alright, let's just go this way. Can I go up here? No, nope, I can't even go up here. Painkillers. Let me grab that book first. Alright. Well, I'm just trying to just... What was that? What's that sound? Yeah. It's here. We found it. Thank you, Perkins. Oh, that must Don't be Clara. It, Clara. Yeah. It is her. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Yep. Wait, I mean no harm. I'm the <laughs> Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? No, we're not. Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. I'm looking for the medicine, too. Help the entrance. Shouldn't you be the only one leaving this? Well... Yeah, and I was about to say something like that. What a little girl like you do into a place like this. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. 
Perkins is protecting me. I'll be all right. I'm going to leave after I gather up these painkillers. Uh, is that what you're here for too? That would make sense. I'm sure a lot of miners are injured, right? Huh. If everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Well, what about your relationship with uh, Slime? I want to say this. Mr. Sparag, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparag doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. Why did uh, Swine attack us? Why did Swine want to get involved in the incident in the mines? I'm gonna say this, yeah, this makes sense. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparag wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Uh... Really? Dang! This is a lot of crazy stuff right here. Um, but the underground is safer? There's some- there must have been some error in his system. So he's standing guard at the, uh, At the huge, uh, pillar stopping people from leaving? Hmm. I want to say this. Yes. Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparag won't change his mind. Really? So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. <gasps> Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sela, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know not, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Yeah. Alright, now we need to get the fuck out of here. Alright, that leads us to... Alright, there, I guess. Medicine. 
metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. All right. Yeah. Ooh, ghosts from the past. Well, that is interesting. All right, and that means we. Where's this place? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, all right. I'm out of this bitch. It's getting late. Where to now? Uh, over to her. Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Uh, yep. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Ah, uh, we share some with Claire. Uh, Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. Oh, uh, yeah. I really forgot about those two. <laughs> I forgot to say anything before I left. I'm gonna say this. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. I mean, we are. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Oh, we get her. Didn't we got her? <sighs> huh? Tired already? <laughs> Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days, no shut eye. Oh, dang. You really need to go to bed. Uh, hey, they're finally back! Yeah, sorry for the unannounced disappearance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> And that's something to be proud of? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. All right. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forward. We underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. All right, thank you. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Yep. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. Mm hmm In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Alright, I understand. You're alright, let's get you. Let's go take him down. We need to find a way to bring him to over Oxide. I'm saying this. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. 
You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog without success. He has no mm. intention of engaging with us. Mm. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarog's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady and spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarog. Alright, you're not gonna come with us? Wildfire's relationship with Svarog has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. All right, let's go. Oh, Sampa. I want to say this. Any of you, if I don't... I'll deal with you guys later. Alright, I'm gonna look at something real fast.